Welcome to the Admiral's Garage. It's not my garage. It's far too well equipped to be uh, my place. And um, I'm going to be taking apart this Evan Rude 1976, four horsepower, uh, because it isn't firing properly there's no sparks so we are going to change the coils the condensers the HT leads the plugs I'm not going to change the points because I haven't actually got any um, but we're going to take you through how that's all done so I've already taken out the spark plugs because they weren't sparking and bought some new ones of them new HT leads will go on as well because like I say it's 1976 so Having taken those four screws out from underneath, take this cap off. There is no fuel in it. We've already drained the fuel and this will now lift off. Revealing the magneto. This convenient piece of wood, I've drilled three holes in it and put some bolts in, sorry, four holes and bolt. And that is going to act as a puller for these on there and that will bring all of this off it's a taper fit on there I'm gonna to have to use two hands to do that but essentially I'll hold it in with those three bolts I'll take this holding nut off and then I will wind down on this center bolt which will pull the whole lot off this wooden bracket is now in place. This spanner goes onto the nut, which is at the other side of this, purely to make it wind down. And I'm going to now turn this the correct way. Um, I'm going to need two hands to do this, but that is going to just pop off nicely. So, um, sorry, I can't do this and show you. You'll just have to trust me that when I wound that off, it went pop, literally pop. And now I've lifted that whole unit off. Okay. Inside this we have condenser, points, and coil for the top, and then same condenser, points, and coil for the bottom. Uh, I've unclipped this. This is the um, obviously the earthing point of the um, condenser, and there are two wires that go to the points: one from the coil and one from that. I've now uh, taken out the coil and the condenser. I've just given it a bit of a wipe. The points there are clean. Can't really see in there, can you? But they're, they're good points. So I'm just gonna now literally replace the coil and the condenser. And top tip, don't secure everything down until you've got your HT leads in. These HT leads go in there and you can actually see that that on this one is a screw which it was not on the other one that I had. So I am going to screw this on to here like that. Oh, and don't forget also to put this little rubber grommet on because that helps keep the water out. Um, I can see this, but here we go. And I'm literally going to push that in there and screw it on. A bit more. All right, that's that's as far as that'll go now. Slide up my little rubber grommet in here and then push it all back down. Thanks to the Admiral for holding the camera for me while I do this. I've got the coil in there. I will need to adjust this for when I put the lid back on, otherwise it will hit the magnet as it spins around. Um, if you're doing this, you'll probably find that yourself. Way learned um, accidentally by putting that too far out this way. So I will need to adjust that. Um, I've obviously put that in there. Now then, here's the condenser. Look at this beautiful piece of old box there. This apparently is an original 1976, obviously never used condenser. Um, and that's its number there, the 580321. So there we go. The condenser is, um, out. I've just screwed that one. Don't forget to put both these wires here. This one off the coil, which is, I can't quite reach there, the blue one and the black one or when you screw it onto the points, otherwise it won't work. But I do want to sit, look at this, this old box, it was wrapped up in some nice cardboard paper. No polythene back in them days. I think they were actually bothered about the environment. 
um, rather than cheapness. Fantastic. Thank you, Evan Rude Johnson, for all those years ago. Anyway, so I'm going to um, screw this on here, and then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side of this engine. One thing I didn't comment on, by the way, when I was taking the, um, the coil off is the HT lead, which is there. And you can see the HT lead. That's a little rubber grommet that goes on the HT lead. Um, I needed to release it from this side, so I'm releasing it again from this side. So you can see underneath there is a, a bracket. And it's going on that. See that little screw head there? A bit bright, that iris, isn't it? But anyway, there's a screw head under there. And because I am going to replace the HT leads, we're going to pull them out. Make sure you make a note of which HT lead goes where. So you have your top and your bottom. This one is marked as top on this side. And on the HT lead, I have got, see a little tag there? Tag for top. Oh, here's a nice number for you to see as well. Let's have a little look at that. What is it? It's 512154. That's the part number. There we go. That's back in place. And now I'll just re-screw all of these in place. This blue wire, which you can see from the, comes from the bottom, keep it away from this rotating. This all this rotates. And you don't want that wire to be rubbing on that because that will just break things. Oh, what we've got happening here is now we are clamping in the HT leads and we've put it all the way over to full throttle, which has moved the maximum length of the HT lead around the magneto. And then we have clamped it at maximum um, so that we can shorten the lead by moving the accelerator backwards and you can see that was now still clamped and wobbly bendy so before we finish off the HT leads now we're going to put the top back on here and as I said earlier these have adjustments on them moving forward and back we did discover when we were playing around earlier that if these are too far forward when you put the magnetic top on then you will find that it jams. Now, where is that top? And just by way of explaining um, what it's jamming on, you can see here is the magnet and there is a little ledge there and there. So as it was rotating, it would hit that. This magnet is what powers up the coils and sends the spark through at the appropriate time. Anyway, well, we've also got a keyway, make sure that uh, you line your keyway up. And it is a tapered shaft, which is why I needed to use that wooden device that we made earlier to get it off. So, uh, in fact, I'll pass the camera over to the Admiral while I line this up and we'll see what happens. Lining up the keyway. So it will only go on one way. There it is. Lower it down a bit. And that has actually jammed um, straight away. You can see that this um, accelerator cable is... I've got no motion on this. So um, we need to move this one back a bit. I can now pop this on here. Once I've engaged it, it's gone on the thing. And I can turn this quite freely. What I did find earlier as I was turning it when they were forward, I could hear the coils scraping on the magnet. So that now no longer happens. Pop my nut on there, that's going to make that solid. Putting on the HT leads now, we've measured the length and the Admiral is about to cut the length there. We're giving ourselves a little bit to uh, trim back here. These are the original um, HT connectors to the spark plug. As you can see that that little spring um, has got a pin that just goes in to the centre of the HT lead and we flatten these down, flatten down there and push that forward and that will make it all nice and tight. We'll make that tidy. And a good conduct. And a great contact. We'll tidy that up and then we'll put the sleeve on and the sleeve has pushed on from the outside and is lined up. You can't see it down that little hole absolutely perfectly with the spring. So now we have the HT leads on, we've cut them to the right length, I've got my little tag for the top still, 
and so we know which is which same length the same length but we've tagged it so that's cool brand new spark plugs in set to uh, 25 now uh, we've got to put the top on so that we can um, this mechanism will work um, so we can pull it to start and then the camera batteries run out so we put the top on put some fuel in put it in the wheelie bin and this is the result thank you to the admiral for helping me out with this one and also thanks to you for watching all the way through please do give it a thumbs up a like a share and what have you and uh, hope i've been helpful bye bye now <laughs>